What are you doing, Alice? asks Rosie. I'm looking for my cat, Bobby, says Alice. Can you see him? Rosie sees a cat's tail. Look, there! He's in Grandpa's van, she says. The girls run to the van. Ben is in the van with Grandpa and Clunk. The cat makes a noise. Meow! What's that? asks Ben. My cat is hiding under this seat, says Alice. Clunk doesn't hear her. He types a word on the computer and the van doors close. Stop, says Alice. But Clunk can't stop the van now. It's taking them to a new place. Sit down, please, Grandpa says to the girls. You can come with us. Where? asks Rosie. Where are we going? When the van stops, it isn't in the street. It's in a hot place with lots of grass and trees. We're in Africa, says Ben. I'm reading a book about animals. Grandpa and I want to see them. Look at the animals, says Rosie. I can see zebras and giraffes. Can you see gazelles? asks Grandpa. Yes, says Ben. There, they hide in the long grass. Bobby the cat isn't happy here. He jumps out of Alice's arms and runs. Oh no! shouts Alice. Alice is scared to go and find her cat. Rosie and I can find Bobby, says Ben. But Grandpa stops the two children. It's too dangerous, says Grandpa. Maybe there are lions here too. There are binoculars in the van. Alice uses the binoculars to look for lions. I can see lions says Alice. They're sleeping under that tree. Ben and Rosie, you can go and find Bobby, but be very quiet, says Grandpa. We don't want to wake up the lions. Alice and I can watch them. From here, Ben and Rosie go to find Bobby the cat. They hear a loud, angry noise. Meow! That's Bobby, says Ben. A gazelle runs close to them. That gazelle 
is scared of Bobby, says Rosie. They run and find the cat behind a tree. Rosie has the cat in her arms. Let's go to the van, she says. Ben and Rosie can see Alice and Grandpa. Alice is watching the lions. But Ben sees an animal in the long grass behind Grandpa and Alice. What's that? says Ben. One lion is not sleeping under the tree. It is hungry. It is looking for an animal to eat. The lion is quiet, so Grandpa and Alice don't hear it. Soon it is very close. Can we shout to them? asks Rosie. No, says Ben. They can't run to the van. The lion is a lot faster. Ben sees a giraffe close to them. I have an idea, he says. He runs at the giraffe and shouts, Go! The giraffe looks at Ben, but it doesn't go. Then, Bobby the cat sees the giraffe and makes his loudest noise. Meow! When the giraffe hears Bobby, it runs. It's running to the long grass, says Rosie. I know, says Ben. The lion in the long grass is very close to Grandpa and Alice now. Then it hears a noise. It looks up and sees the giraffe coming. With an angry noise, the lion jumps up and runs out of the long grass. Roar! When Grandpa and Alice hear the lion's roar, they look behind them. There was a lion in the grass, says Alice. Grandpa and Alice run to the van. Soon, Ben and Rosie are there too. That was great, Ben, says Rosie. Lions don't like giraffes, says Ben. Giraffes can kick. I know that from my book. Let's go home, says Grandpa. Where's Clunk? There is a noise behind the van. Clunk is sitting there with some monkeys. These are my new friends, says Clunk. At home, 
Grandpa runs to the house. When he comes out, he has a fish on a plate. This is for Bobby the cat, he says. He was fantastic in Africa. Bobby makes a happy noise. Meow!